Okay, the idea now is to do a question in cryptography which state this question state the following we have we are going to talk again about this cryptography and we know that two this is not really more powerful than this the the reason is meet in the middle right meet in the middle attack cause that we are going from the two directions and therefore we are not really that better with two this compared to this only in a factor of multiplication of two which is very not very not very stronger so three this when we are using two keys key one and key two is stronger than one this and it's considered secure compared to one this or two this three this is considered secure uh, for today now we are going to look on different structures and tell if there are like two deaths or three deaths and this two deaths is with two keys this is also with two keys now we need to say if the following is like two deaths three deaths or one deaths now what we can say on deaths of x and k1 xor k2 now this looks like one this I must say k1 or k2 yeah. the k tag so we are left with a key like any other random key therefore i think that this x k1 xor k2 equals this of x and k Okay, this is, I think, is the same, quite the same. I don't see any. The XOR not really giving me anything. The XOR operation doesn't contribute to the security. Okay, the next one. The next one is this with x, xor, k1, and k1. Again, I don't see why the xor even helped me with something. Again, the xor has no security advantage. So it's the same. There is no security advantage. I can do. No, I don't know the key. You know what? That's interesting. I can do something very interesting. You can do like this. We have x xor k1, right? I can do xor with. Oh, you can see nothing. Xor. How do you do XOR? Hmm. There is no XOR. Let's 
Sun in Latex. O plus. Okay. So O plus. Great. A K1. Now I can do O plus. with x as I know that okay now I can take the message and XOR with it getting x o plus k1 and now o plus and x using the properties of xor with commutative distributive i think commutative right with commutative commutative with t of xor getting Oh, uh, if I do that, I will get left with K1. Mm. No, I don't really get anything from this because what I wanted to do is using the XOR commutative property, XOR com Utative property and here you can see that I can do this and therefore I can do like this x o plus x o plus yes o plus k1 and one now you remember that x o plus x equals zero therefore we get just k1 and how does it help me So our this is k1 is this is equals this k1 k1 which is like a normal this one this where the key is also the message okay so this was the second one now this third one the third one tells me that I'm going to do this of x and k1 and I'm going to XOR it on plus with wait o plus with mm, k1 which again seems not really a good idea because now again we can use the properties of XOR and get 
I can do uh, I can even do something worse I can take this off No, I can't really take this. I don't know the death of... No, I can't do that. This is not good. Uh, when I... Mm, I guess the key... I can do this with the key, let's call it K tag plus K tag and when I will get to the right key it will be so again we left this with normal one I'm not sure that it's true, but okay, we can use again the property of. So you need to. Uh, what I use is that if I take a XOR B and doing XOR with B, it equals a XOR zero because XOR with the same thing is zero. Zero. Try to think about it. You have one zero one zero. Do XOR with the same one zero one zero. You'll get zero on everything because. XOR is when the bits are the same is 0 and when the bits are different is not 0, is 1. So if you are taking the same thing, XOR the same thing, you will get 0. So this is why, for example, big XOR B or something XOR the same thing will give you 0. Now something with 0 will won't change. Think about it, if you take XOR with 0, it always not change. 1 XOR 0 is 1. Zero so zero is a uh, zero so yes zero so zero is zero and zero uh, if you take one with so zero you stay one if you take zero you so it with zero you are staying with zero so this is why something so zero stays the same so eight so zero is just a okay. So this is why here I will get zero and then this one XOR zero will give me this. I can even do it more precisely. Give me this XK1. Okay. And another property that I use is that A XOR B equals B XOR A from commutative, which XOR satisfied. I use the properties of XOR. Now I'm not sure that I'm really making true statements. I'm not even sure that it's very smart to learn from what I do here because I may do many mistakes. Never mind. Four. Now we have this of this of x k one k one. How do we do? 
in latex how do you do okay tag with line involved letter i don't remember how you say that overline Okay. Never mind. Okay, now this. Okay. What do I think about that? It seems like two deaths with two different keys. But. I can say that this is death with two keys. I can say that K1 is different from K1 tag complement, so it's like double this with two different keys. I'm pretty sure that I may be wrong because the next one is very, very similar to this. It's like this and this and this on x k1 on k1 dot and k1 which i can say that k1 is different from k1 tag so we have I think this is even weaker because I can do meet in the middle.
Okay, so I what I said here that I think it's different because um, I think it's different because uh, using this test, uh, if I'm talking about mid in the middle attack, and I'm doing the third test from here and the second test from here, and I want to meet in the middle, so I know that instead of for each k of this one, I need I have I can have two to the power of fifty six minus one minus one different keys that even not minus one the one included so instead of when i try this one i know that there are two to the power of 56 keys different keys that i can may have uh, to try so now i know that the key of this is just a complement so i know exactly which key i should use And it reduced the number of uh, tries significantly, it seems. Remember that the key length is the actual key length. The, the key length is 64, but the actual key length is 56, as we talked. So this is why 2 to the power of 56, because each bit can have two options. So for each key of, 50, of length of 6, 56, I have 2 to the power of 56 options. For each bit, we have two options, 56 bits, so 2 to the power of 56. Okay, and now the last one, which is... Here I can't... Here, if we do the meet in the middle attack, in from one side, we need k1 and k1 tag, and from the other, we need k1. So from the left, so the uh, fact that k1 tag is the complement of k1 doesn't help us solve it and does not reduce the number of tries we need because it is encrypted with k1 I'm not sure that this is the best answer. I think it's not good answer, but I think that because the meet in the middle, for example, attack from the left takes k1 and then uh, takes k1 and then k tag, and from the right k1, it doesn't help me. I cannot really do complement or something. So because in the left there is k and k tag, and in the right I have k, so I just I'm not just taking I'm taking the key No, but Wait, it's test on test, it's not... Yes. Uh, 
Maybe I think it's it does weaker. Not sure I understand fully the meet the middle attack because because The name of void brute forcing the description scheme to decrypt the cipher text with every possible and the minute minute attack uses a more efficient approach by decrypting C with K2 decrypting C K2 one obtains the following equivalence C encryption K2 encryption K1P this is the normal. Now decryption K2 with C equals decryption K2 encryption encryption P. This is logical. Now decryption of K2 of the cipher text equals encryption K1 in the plain text. This is smart. So what we have we have C equals this, right? If you want, I can say that this is the this n with k1 n k k1 tag of p right so i can do deck k1 of c equals deck k1 and k1 and k1 tag 
be so you can say that deck k1 c equals n k1 tag p can say something like this, this is the man in the middle attack, this is the idea. Let's try to do it. And here the idea that I can take for decryption and encryption the same key just in complement. So it's like, oh. So it's even like doing one this for encryption using K and for decryption of not even strong Okay, so this is, I think, an explanation, but it's not better. Let's show the meat in the middle. Okay. And the last one, let's try to do the meat in the middle. ciphertext equals all of this which is this of k1 this of k1 tab this of k1 only plain text which doesn't really help me because now I'll do oh let's do let's call it just n here again n here again n how much time do I have left okay now mm, if I do decryption of for example key one C get get that I'm left with all of this. Right. And as 
we can use the fact that Key one tag K one Okay, I'm, I'm really not sure that I made the right decision, the right explanation, the right answer. Even I, I think that probably I missed something. It's just me trying to solve this. Probably I made mistakes. Almost certainly I made mistakes. So, I don't know. Just for looking at the desk maybe. I'm not sure it's even helpful. Okay, thank you very much. Not if there are mistakes or correction, there are mistakes probably that I did. But thank you if you made something of this. Great.